Now that we've created our stock for simulation, what we want to do next is create a target. And we're going to use this solid model for our target. And so the way we do that is we go into the uh, simulation toolbar, simulation parameters again, go to the solids tab here, so on the solids tab. And so instead of creating stock, we're going to create target. And we want to create target from a solid. We get our selection uh, icon here. We select the solid, tell it, yeah, that's the one I mean. And, uh, and go ahead and add that. And so our target will show up underneath our stock. And so a, a target has to be associated with a piece of stock. And what this lets us do, if I click OK now, is now when we do our, our simulation, so we've got our stock visible in the simulation. And then if we say stock visibility, turn it off, turn it on. We can say target visibility, turn it on. We turn off the stock, turn on the target. And when we're done with our machining operation, we can actually find the differences between the stock and the target. And so when I turn this on, the, uh, the, the uh, comparison dialog here, what you see immediately is that for the two ends here on the right and left, on the sides and on the bottom, the target lines up exactly with the stock material. That's what that green means is within the tolerance here set. Oops. It's within the tolerance set in our comparison dialog, which here is within plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. And you can adjust these tolerance settings here. But I bet you if we change that to plus or minus one, it'll still stay green. Oh, five, that's half a thou. We still see that within the tolerance of our comparison dialog here, we're, uh, we've already got some of the part finished.